Hey, what's going on guys? Dave here for Dave's Exotic Foods. We're doing another video. I'm here with my wife, Ty. Hello. And happy Valentine's Day. Yeah. It's, it's a great day, of course, naturally, for an exotic food video, Valentine's Day. Of course. I should, I should think. And by the title, I'm sure you already know what this video is going to be about. Mm -hmm. It's going to be about cooking and eating a suckling pig. And a suckling pig is pretty easy to cook. This pig was sent to us uh, courtesy of Anshu Patak of Exotic Meat Market and uh, I'll put his link in the video description below to his website. Also the link to his Facebook page where you know you can learn a lot about basically the exotic world process and, and meats and, and upcoming deals and just everything he's doing and that's, uh, that's a whole interesting subject on its own. But for now, let's get going. Let's do it. So now my wonderful wife, Ty, is going to do a little suckling pig preparation. Ty? Yes, we're going to um, season the outside and inside with the salt and pepper, and then we're going to stuff it with some garlic and rosemary so that the aromatics will come through the meat um, after it's done roasting. I have garlic, I have rosemary, and I have a little parsley. Yeah, man. Who cares? It's a pig. It's going to taste like pig. It's going to be delicious. I can't wait. Stick it in its butt, and let's do this thing, man. This might be too much garlic, but we're, we like garlic. Hey, I like a little garlic, man. Gonna be about three and a half hours, four hours. We're gonna pull her out and it's gonna be awesome. I can't wait to try it. So it's cooked up, the skin is extra crispy. Uh, like you were saying uh, to me earlier, put it in for like 500 degrees for like the last 20 minutes. This is like a really small suckling pig. Um, some of the recipes online were talking about like 20 pound, 15 pound pigs. But, you know, this is a smaller one. But it cooked up real nice. Mm -hmm. And I'm starving, man. Let's enjoy our Valentine's meal. Can't say I've done a lot of pig carving. All I know is I want to eat that ear. Okay. I want to eat its ear. I'm just going to kind of... Ah, there we go. So uh, I'm just going to kind of... You know, let's... Crispy. Mmm. A little uh, gelatinous. Mm -hmm. Crispy, of course. But very flavorful. I dig pig ear. Ty, the, uh, the pig ear was pretty good. Yeah. I gotta tell you. That's, uh, that's pretty juicy looking. Uh, I'm just gonna pull off some meat. Okay. Let me just do a little carbon. Nice. This looks really good. Here we go. Little pig for you. Pork. Good stuff. Pig belly is supposed to be very good. I've had pig belly with ramen and stuff, so that should be good. Mmm. How would you describe it? I mean, we've we've all had pork before. Just really, really, really tender pork. It's really yummy. Mmm. This is supposed to be a very romantic meal, you know. Yeah. Feed me. Yeah. That's pig. That's very pork. That's good. That's good. That's really juicy. That's greasy. That's everything pig eaters love right there, I would say. I mean, that's it. That's all. You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to cut its little tail off first. There we go. Let's see what the meat is like on the little pigtail. I'm starting with the interesting bits, aren't I? I'm gonna do a little crazy carving here. There we go. We make our own table manners here at our household. Mmm. What? Oh, I've always, I've never done this before. Let's just tear off a pig leg and go to town, man. Mmm. I made a little sauteed spinach as well. That is really good. 
super flavorful, super tender. I'm glad the seasoning that we chose is really yummy. You get a little taste of that rosemary, some parsley, and definitely the garlic. It's really yummy. Ty, things are getting a little sloppy here. I'm just gonna, there we go. There you go. I think I'm, this is good, this'll work. And I wanted to try kind of some of the more unusual bits first because when do you always get those opportunities to like cut off a little tail or, or cut off a pig ear and just, you know, yeah. try it out. I think that's, I think that's awesome. So you haven't had any of the skin yet, right? No. Okay, how about you just try a little piece? Well, there's a big piece over here. I'm gonna, oh yeah? yeah? Oh yeah, you gotta, she got the best part, I, I'm telling you. It's crispy. <laughs> I don't think she likes the, the skin. A little too, what? Not, not to your... Bad of you. If you're not gonna eat the skin, I will be more than happy. Yeah, so I sort of try to stick to chicken and fish. Um, I do eat um, beef here and there, but I am mostly moving towards just having like chicken and fish in my life. It is yummy though, the meat is good. That is really, really good. It's like pork ribs. It's everything you want. Very yummy. It's everything you want. Wow. And Ty, you made this nice little side dish of spinach. Sauteed spinach? Hope you mm. like. Yes, I do actually. That's, that's that's really good. What'd you do with that? Just some salt and pepper and a little bit of garlic in there. No, now this is medieval, man. Like Sword in the Stone. Did you ever see that movie? Sword in the Stone? Yeah. The Disney version? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Were they movie. were they eating a pig in one of the dinner scenes? Sure, it was maybe turkey leg. I'm thinking right now of Mortal Kombat, the mid 90s live action film, Kano, having a little dinner scene with Goro and Shang Tsung came in. Mm -hmm. Now, what I don't understand is this Shang Tsung guy, he's supposed to be such an incredible fighter. How come he got such a lousy looking uh, bod there, huh? Mm -hmm. That's what I don't get. Remember that movie? I do remember. I saw that in theaters, you know. Did you? Yeah. So Ty, in here is the uh, pig's tongue, you know that, right? Yeah. So I'm just gonna kinda, Oh. let's see here. Let's just yank out this tongue here. And uh, I guess that's the majority of it. So uh, this is a pig tongue and let's try it out. And? It's. Fine. It's like not gross. It's not really anything. Okay. Just meat. Like yeah, it's, it feels like just kind of a dried piece of meat. Not in a gross way. Yeah, it's just kind of dry and flavorless, kind of. Okay. Like, that's my opinion on it. So Ty, you just served us some rice, which finally finished. Yep. And this reminds me of like uh, you know in Las Vegas they have and so I think in California they have medieval times and they give you like full legs I think it's turkey and then um, you get they used to in the 90s you wouldn't have any utensils so you would just eat it with your yeah. like like what I'm doing in this video yeah but I think, <laughs> pretty much they give you utensils now so you're not just like slobbing boring all boring we're in the privacy of our own home mm. and with the camera in front of us right. where all of the world if they choose to can watch so it's not really that private, is it? Nope. Like in Hawaii, for the luau, they bury the pig on... Hey. <laughs> hey, buddy boy. <laughs> you investigate. You know, you're kind of like pig size, aren't you, Bailey? Suckling pig size. He's upset by that. <laughs> he's, very, he's very interested in what's going on. Well, Bailey, we're enjoying some suckling pig. And uh, it's pretty crazy and can be pretty controversial. So... Uh, Mwah. Why don't you just go chill out, you little beggar. Okay, so Ty, this has been a very, almost, shall we say, an enlightening experience. I would say that, yes. It's been a, it's been a very tasty experience. It's very tasty. Mm. Final thoughts on our suckling pig? 
Um, I think I did a good job cooking it, and it came out great. Meat is perfectly tender. You did a great job cooking it. Um, yeah, and I, seasoning and preparing. Yeah, and I think uh, it's great, and it was yummy, and I didn't know what to expect, but I am pleasantly surprised. I am very, I'm very uh, pleasantly surprised. Good stuff, guys. So uh, happy Valentine's Day. Happy Whatever you're doing, fancy restaurants. Uh, Suckling pig, anything in between, you whatever. Just hanging out at home with the fast food, enjoy yourself. <laughs> Have a happy Valentine's Day, and uh, thanks for watching for another Dave's Exotic Foods vids. We'll see you guys later. Bye.